What's going on guys and welcome back to a new LEGO Star Wars video and in today's video we are going to be talking about all the good stuff coming out of 2023. I'm going to be doing a LEGO Star Wars 2023 rumour roundup because it's March now, near the end of March we have basically got every single rumour that is coming out this year. We've got about 95% of them. So I'm going to go through everything that we know, all the potentials and all the good stuff. So if you enjoy LEGO Star Wars content hit the like button, hit the subscribe button down below and tell me what set you're most excited for coming out this year so let's get into the stuff that we already know and if you don't know you're gonna find out and that is first of all we have got a Battle of Endor Brickhead set, and that is going to include Luke, R2, Lando, Wicket, the Ewok, and Princess Leia in a speeder bike gear. So yeah, this set, surprise, it looks pretty good to be honest. I do like the Brickhead set, and this set looks like everyone looks good. R2 looks really good. The set looks really good. $40, so it's quite on the pricey side for a Brickhead, but I suppose you're getting quite a few figures in it. Next, we have sets that are already on the website and at number one we have got the super star destroyer it's like a micro scale version this is super cool to be honest i really really like it i never got the millennium falcon micro scale set but this one looks really really good not too badly priced i suppose i do like i've got to say i do like all these display sets that lego are releasing because i'm a bit older i don't really like sit and play with the sets if you know what i mean so when they bring out sets that look physically like clean look smart you can tell what they are i do appreciate them and this is another one of those sets that I definitely think is going to look really, really cool on your display with your Lego collection. Next, another set that we know is going to be the Pirate Snub Fighter from The Mandalorian Season 3. This set looks good. It's, it does the job. It's a clean set. I'm not, like, super excited about it. I mean, the figures look cool. But apart from that, this set is nothing to, like, shout about. Like I say, the set is accurate to the episode. Looks good. Looks clean. But not something that I'm super excited about. And it's £30, so it's, like, $35. It's quite expensive for what it is. It's probably... I'm still probably going to like pick it up don't know if i'm gonna build it necessarily but i'll definitely probably pick it up if i see it on sale or something like that could have done with one more figure for 30 pounds two figures a bit tight if you ask me but who knows and next on the list we have got we've got the tie fighter versus fang fighter and the reason we have not seen this guys is supposedly it's based off a different episode from the mandalorian so obviously with lego releasing like the sets on the mandalorian series we've seen the snub fighter we've seen the spider tank and the reason we haven't seen this set yet is because we haven't seen the episode yet obviously there might be some exclusive figures that we don't know about so that is why we haven't seen the tie fighter versus fang fighter and i do believe the fang fighter is not the one that we have seen bo katan flying it's going to be a different one. as of may the 4th promo set we do not have any information obviously last year we had a really really good one we got the lars homestead kitchen super super cool really good little set i managed to pick two of them up don't know how but i managed to get two i haven't built any of them yet but obviously got the exclusive character as long as we get an exclusive character in the made for promo whether it's with a building or just a poly bag honestly i'll be happy with the poly bag i don't care but it is going alongside a ucs x-wing so obviously we might get maybe it would make sense to have like an exclusive luke i suppose or something like that very original have another luke skywalker but we're getting an x-wing anyway it's gonna be look really good don't get me wrong but it's not like one that i'd be super excited about obviously if you're a fan of the channel you know that i really really want that nebulum b that lego never had seemed to release which is really disappointing that it's not that hey ho maybe one day but the ucs set for me is going to be the x -Wing. two more sets we should be getting this year a diorama sets we should have been getting three supposedly but one of them it looks like it was cancelled and the one that looks like it was either cancelled or moved is Jabba's throne room which is actually kind of disappointing because that was the one I was looking forward to the most but the other two are the Endor speeder bike chase and the Death Star throne room. Death Star throne room haven't heard anything bad about it haven't heard much about it the Endor speeder bike chase it, we've heard we probably are going to be disappointed but apart from that the reason I'm most disappointed is we're not getting the Jabba's throne room it looks like that's going to be 2024 if ever something that i have absolutely no interest in is a young jedi adventures 4 plus set okay i get it lego probably are doing this to like for the young really really young audience but yeah four plus set and probably unless it comes with like figures and i don't know what those figures are going to look like because obviously it's based off the cartoon i'm probably not going to pick this set up. next we have a couple of sets that we have seen pictures on again and these we are starting in august now so all those last sets were in may now we're in august and this is going to be the n1 microphone 
fighter, obviously. Okay, we've got the N1 fighter, it comes with Grogo and Mandu. Cheaper way to get a new Mando, which is super cool. Price increase, so is it that cheap, really? I don't know. And the set, it looks not particularly bothered about this set, really, really not. I'd like to say, the micro fighter is probably like the least, the sets I like least. Yeah, I'm really not bothered, especially now with the prices increase, they've gone from like, I think they started off at like $8.99 or something, now they're nearly like 17 It's just that's expensive. Next, another set that we know that is on the Lego website right now is the spider tank from the mandalorian season three episode like i say this set it looks really good it looks very very good the actual build of the set not gonna lie i think the majority of people say that this set looks clean looks good looks fantastic figures as well we get a mando figure we get a new dark saber finally i mean it's not got the details on it it's at least the right shape and we get a new bo katan figure which is obviously rather than it based off the clone wars it's based off the mandalorian season three so she's got slightly lighter a blue armor she's got a new hair piece she's got new arm printing the figure looks fantastic so can't wait for that set to be honest for the figures and the build itself looks really clean as well next we're back to the rumors rumors confirmed sets we're getting to that time now where pretty much all these sets are confirmed we just don't know the details about them so next we have got something very exciting well it could either be really really good or disappointing and that is set 75359 the republic swamp speeder at $25 so obviously not the biggest set ever hopefully we're still gonna get three figures at least but the main room of this one is a phase two rex super awesome i haven't got a phase two rex because i cannot afford the price on the second hand market one and obviously with rex coming out in the game it would make sense cody came out in the game we got cody rex hopefully he's out in the game now to be fair a lot of the commanders are out in the game now so hopefully fingers crossed we'll be getting a lot more clones like this just a rumor phase two rex and then the other rumor it's supposedly coming with super battle droids but it's called a republic swan speeder and it probably probably will have a jedi in there so i will not probably say we're gonna have more than one clone we're probably gonna have like one clone a jedi in a droid or maybe two droids next we are gonna get yoda's jedi starfighter obviously don't know why no idea why this is a bit of a random one if you ask me I've some, there might be some reasoning behind it why we're getting it i cannot think i have done research i have no idea where this set's come from but supposedly we're getting a yoda's jedi starfighter set set 753 sex five yavin four rebel base at 160 dollars yeah this set supposedly is going to be really really good i don't see why it wouldn't be for that price range they've got like they can do a lot with that price range it's going to have supposedly 12 figures which is going to be awesome i think it's going to have like a little tower on it lookout tower and it's going to have like micro scale x-wings or y-wings or something like that i think i read that should be super exciting to see what, how that set turns out something that i am uh, honestly really not bothered about I, i'm guessing again this is aimed at like younger people it must have done well in the other themes but that is the lego mechs so we're getting darth vader Boba fett and a stormtrooper and these are going to be six dollars so again not cheap for small sets me personally unless it's like an exclusive boba fett an exclusive darth vader in like a really sick looking stormtrooper these are not going to attract me whatsoever i might get them just to say i've got one but apart from that mm, mm, not really bothered there is gonna be a buildable chewbacca $200. Honestly, not a Scooby-Doo what this is going to look like. Really, really have no idea whatsoever. That's about it. No idea about that. Set. Next on the list, we have got the Advent Calendar as standard. Every year we get the Advent Calendar. And I think so far, the only rumour is that we're getting like a like a christmas ewok maybe not sure that's like the only thing that i've read and then we're gonna get into some potential sets because there are still some numbers out there that aren't confirmed aren't not confirmed obviously we've got the ucs set coming out at the end of the year there's been like rumors like a venator jabba's sail barge we could still get like the nebulon b or darth vader's tie bomber so regarding that not 100 percent sure there's not been any really confirmed rumors nor any rumors as of yet so it'll be really interesting to see i do think jabba's sail barge is actually rumored for next year a 2024 so that might not be happening but then we've also got two ahsoka sets that should be coming out towards the end of the year which is super awesome obviously we have no idea what it could be yet no idea and apparently there's another set number which we do not know anything but it is going to be the right price for a potential gunship and obviously after the last episode of the mandalorian the gunship was very very well shown so who knows we might be getting a gunship with some of the flame phase one clones or the shock troopers which would be absolutely epic with grogu maybe and the jedi that was in it so that'd be super cool i would love that that'd be epic add some more clones more variety of clones to the army and all that good stuff but obviously that is just a rumor probably not 
when you get your hopes excited. But then again, this set is so under wraps that who knows? Obviously, the ATTE was kept well, well hidden from us until it was closely released. So maybe they're doing the same with the Republic gunship. I can imagine if it is, they'll be like releasing it. Is it like Lego Con or is that cancelled now? I can't remember. If they do show it, it'll be at Lego Con. So thanks for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, remember to like and subscribe button down below for lots more Lego Star Wars content. If you're excited for all the new sets, comment down below what set you're most excited for. Personally, I'm most excited for the Italian Scepter versus Fang Fighter, and I'm most excited for the Swamp Speeder, but like I say, that could be disappointing, but hopefully we're not going to be disappointed, and then I'm obviously, like everyone, I am really intrigued if we are getting a gunship or not, I really hope so that we're getting a gunship, but who knows, so guys, hit like button, hit subscribe button down below, and I'll see you in the next Lego Star Wars video!